Oh. Moment of truth again. Feels like I haven't sat in front of a camera in so long. Before I do jump into this video, I do want to make something clear because people who have been watching me for like a long time or, or people who have been watching me since last year, like when I did my other GCSE video, you've probably seen it because it, it did bang in views. I did my GCSEs last year, so you're probably like, why are you making this video? Basically, I had to retake maths because I literally can't do maths for shit. So I got my maths with GCSE results today as well. And I'm going to share with you my A-level results because I got them like sometime last week. So I'm gonna do it all in one today, so hopefully you like understand and enjoy that. Now because I did take a little break from YouTube, I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this, so if you are watching, well you must be like, mm. So before I do tell you what I did get in my results, I'd like you just to smash the like button and comment and subscribe if you're not already because we're like proper close to 11,000 subscribers as well. Yeah, we're, pro we're proper close to 11,000 subscribers and hopefully I'm going to start getting back into uploading uh, every week and that. But I'll make a video explaining why I took a break and stuff next week or something maybe. Now something I do want to say quickly is I know a lot of you do worry about your results. Obviously you've got them now so I hope you all did alright. But if you didn't get the results that you wanted to get then there's always like another route to what you want to do. I go to a sixth form college. I got really good GCSE results. Don't know how, but I did get good GCSE results. So I took A-levels, but I go to an A-level college sort of thing where you could do A-levels and you could do a course if you didn't get the grades you wanted. And that is what a lot of my mates did. A lot of my mates didn't get really good grades, but they still managed to do what they wanted to do. So if you didn't get the grades you wanted to do, then there's always like another solution, do you know what I mean? I'll start off by telling you my A-level results, English language, media, and PE. And I've got it here. Obviously, I've already been open because I got them last week. But I've got, in media studies, I've got a C. So obviously, at A-level, a C is really good. That's like equivalent to a high grade in GCSE. So a C, I was really happy with because I didn't put in as, like, as much effort as what I could have done. But I enjoy media, so I, do you know what I mean? I enjoy media, so you'd I'd like, expect to get a, a right grade. English language, now, let's talk about English language because if you did watch my GCSE video last year, you'd know that I did get a really good grade at GCSE for English language and I generally thought that was like one of my best subjects. I, I, it was one of my best subjects, so I, I felt confident in it. Like I just naturally got English, unlike maths. But I got an E, I got an E at A level. However, that is a pass, but an E. I was expecting better than an E. But, what can you do? Like, I, I wanted to get a C, that was my aim. Didn't get it, still passed it, so that was that was it really. I didn't revise either. Like, it's understandable if you dislike me, or not me, but you dislike the fact that I didn't revise in my GCSEs or my A-levels and still managed like to pass them all. Because a lot of people put in loads of effort and then don't pass the ones they want to pass. But I guess, I don't know. And then in PE, I did get a C as well. And I was so shocked when I got a C. Like, you don't, I don't think you understand. If you take PE at GCSE, like, I wouldn't advise you take it at A level because the jump is so big. Literally, right? So there's no sport involved in PE at A level. It's all like science, it's like biology, all about like, the body and all that shit. If you, if you were to take one bit of advice from me in this video, it is to not take PE at A level unless you're really fucking good at it. Or, I don't know the second one. This is my theory, if I put in the work and if I put in, if I revised all the time and put in that extra bit of effort, I could come out of A's and B's and A level, but no, I just am lazy and it's bad. It's bad that I'm admitting to like me being lazy and that, but put in the effort, you will get the results. Because I've got the results to carry on next year, these results now don't matter and it will all go to next year. So next year is where I have to knuckle down properly because they're my final grades. Like these grades now, yeah, I've got a certificate to say that I passed them, but they don't actually count towards anything. Now moving on to the big one, my maths. And yeah, I, it's hard for me to explain how much effort I've put into trying to get a C in maths. Like maths is the one subject that I've struggled with all my life. I, can't, I just can't do maths. I've never got it. I never will get it. I hate it with a passion. And I did fail at, at, at GCSE, I took foundation and got a D, and then now I retook it higher, and I've got my results here, I opened them literally like five minutes before I went on camera, so it's kind of peak because I should have recorded it, but I didn't. But I'm going to tell you anyway, so I took higher maths, 
and I got a C and it was a high C, like I nearly got a B. Honestly, I'm over the moon with this grade because I just didn't think I was gonna pass, like I just had no hope. I genuinely thought like I was gonna have to retake maths basically till I was like 18, 19. I literally just can't do it. But now I've got a C, that means I never have to do maths ever again. And it makes me think that I should have took higher at the beginning. Like, I should have took higher at the start of GCSEs because I reckon I would have got a C. Because obviously it's easier to get a C in higher because there's less marks to get. So that's just where my high school teachers are idiots. If you didn't get the results you wanted, then obviously it's not the end of the world. Like I said, there's other routes that you can go down to get to the place you want to get. And if you work hard, you'll get there. I do hope that you're all back supporting me again. Like, I did take a little break from YouTube and I'll get onto that in another video where I explain why and all of that shit. But if you could do me a massive favour and drop this video a like, a, a comment what you got. I want to know what you got in your GCSEs. And also subscribe, that's the main part. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do want to I do want to get this back up and running again and I don't know if anyone even watches me anymore. Like, it's got that deep, it's got that peak. So if you could give me all the support that you've actually got, then that would mean a lot to me. And I'll hopefully see you next week with another video.